So guys, today we check out Doll's newest addition to the auto rifle family and it's called the Soul Render. And yes, this thing shoots ghosts. Like what? How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So Doll assault rifles across the board all received a 35% damage buff, a few hot fixes a go. In total before this one there were 6 Doll assault rifles in the game, legendary wise anyway. The Warlord, the Chaos, the Good Juju, the Breath of the Dying, the Star Helix and the Barrage. I reviewed all of them not too long ago post damage buff and I can tell you Doll assault rifles are not to be overlooked. To me the best out of the previous 6 was the Chaos with the good Juju and the Breath of the Dying not too far behind them, both being amazing at the same time. So how does this new one live up to past Dahl ARs? Well let me start by saying it's easily the most unique Dahl assault rifle so far. People, this thing shoots ghosts, it's basically a handheld gas cool grenade, it's amazing. Now obviously this is exclusive to the Guns, Love and Tentacles DLC and for me the two I have both dropped from Amak within Cursed Haven. I ain't saying this is the only place this drops as I do believe it is a world drop I just cannot confirm that as it's early days yet. Now like I said I've had two variants of this both dropping from the same person but both are very very different. This one I have here offers radiation but it's either a burst or a single shot weapon. The reflexive version offers no elemental damage but deals more damage as standard and also either shoots in full auto or semi auto. Now after using both of these versions, I thought of the elemental version would have been the better variant, I was wrong. The non element version is far superior. It just feels like a different weapon. The radiation one for me under the same test and didn't do anything to enemies besides tickle them. The non elemental variant though hit like a truck. So, picture a soul. Now rend that thing. And that's what this does guys. It shoots purple souls or ghosts. Now under my testing it seems that consecutive hits spawn these souls in. The more you hit that target, the more these spawn. The damage they do it seems to be double that bullet damage too, both body and crit shots. And these souls also track like crazy too. All those annoying flying enemies within the system of slaughter, they didn't know which way to turn. So the Soul Render is a very very capable weapon and though I wouldn't consider it a powerhouse and in fact I wouldn't say it's the best Dollar Assault Rifle either. Top 4 definitely but best? Nah not really. Even though it's fun to use and to watch those souls chase those enemies, in terms of damage output and DPS the Chaos, the Breath of the Dying and the Good Juju all outdo this weapon. Now what obviously you can only go off the variants I've used. There could be a 2 times variant out there which would just smack the one I've tested but as of now and the one I have tested it's still a great great weapon but it's unique feature isn't it's damage output is the fact this thing shoots tracking ghosts. But yeah guys the Soul Render as much as a very capable and fun weapon it is to use it won't take the place of my Q system that is for sure. And on that note guys we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.